All right, Miss Lady 212, this is symbolic. This is a response to your video on evolution. Um, the question being, uh, why is it that people don't believe in the theory of evolution or don't accept the theory of evolution? Uh, what, what reason could that be? Um, you know, aside from the, uh, the people who, who believe the, the literal word of the Bible where, you know, it says that the earth is 6,000 years and old and no more, um, I think basically it comes down to human arrogance. People, people want to feel superior to animals. Um, I don't know why they have that need. Maybe because they have to eat them or they don't have to eat them, but they do eat them. So maybe they have to, you know, feel that they have some uh, innate right to eat them because they are superior. But, um... It's ridiculous. I mean, I mean, we are animals. We are animals. Uh, the first division they came up with, they said that, uh, well, you know, human beings can reason. Human beings can think and reason. Every predator can think or, and reason. You know, they have to catch prey. They have to outsmart the pay, prey. They have to, you know, guess what the prey is doing and study the prey. Um, coyotes. Coyotes will actually dam up water so that it flows into the hole of a burrowing animal so that they can flush the animal out. That's pretty clever. That's reason. That's thinking to me. It, then they said, well, you know, mankind makes tools. We're the tool making thing. Well, it turns out, of course, that chimpanzees make tools and a lot of other animals now they've discovered make tools. So making tools does not separate us from the animals. Then they said that, uh, well, people are altruistic. You know, we were just wonderfully altruistic. Well, it turns out that porpoises save people's lives. If people are caught at sea drowning, porpoises have been known to come by and protect them from sharks and also to tow them ashore. I met a guy in the south of France uh, whose whole family was saved by a pod of dolphins uh, when his, uh, his boat went down. So, there goes that division. So, as far as I could tell, the only remaining division between human beings and animals is that we cook. We're the animal that cook, cooks. Now, does that really make us superior to animals? And is that, is that really enough to justify some god creating us as some completely separate um, form of life? No, we're animals. People just don't want to admit it. Um, our egos get in the way completely, but there's no animal. Oh, agriculture too. For a while they said, oh, you know, we're the, we're, we're the only animal that does agriculture. It turns out that there's a species of ant that uh, cultivates mushrooms underground as a food source. So even the ants can cultivate. So cultivation doesn't separate us either. Um, it's just some uh, innate egotism, you know. Or as I say, maybe because a lot of people eat animals, they have to feel that there is some great gulf uh, between us and the animals to justify eating them. If you really think about it, we probably shouldn't eat them. I mean, you know, unless they cook. Well, maybe not if they cook. You guys decide. Thanks a lot. Great video. Bye-bye.